whole story about this one. Go ahead, Scott. What's this? What do you got to show us here? You familiar with this? I think I am. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So Diamond Head Vista is one of my favorite condo buildings in Waikiki because you're on the edge of Waikiki. If you want to get, if you want access to everything that Waikiki has to offer, it's right at your fingertips. It's out your door. You could actually even walk down to the beach, right, right down to where the Duke statue is, but you're on the edge so you can get out easily. And you have this large open space right beyond you. The school is right next door. So you may have a little bit of noise from the kids and, you know, during the daytime, but there's no one around in the late afternoon or evening. And look at that view. That's the view from the Lanai. And this is just a mid-level unit. I mean, this we're talking 14th floor on this one. Um, renovated one bedroom, one bath for 725,000. You look out towards the Gold Coast, you have Diamond Head in the foreground. If you look at the, the, picture on the lower left that's the lanai it's 135 square foot lanai so plenty of space in it and that one you can see part of waikiki from there so you got these sweeping views with you know unobstructed with a lot of greenery and diamond head in the urban core which you don't usually get and then, then if you want to get out you want to get out away from the hustle and bustle of waikiki you're basically two turns and 30 seconds and you're you're to, you're on kapahula avenue getting out of uh getting out of waikiki but renovated unit 635 square feet, 725,000. Love this building. It's, it's great. It, 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 that is a great, I, well, so my, my little story is that I, when, uh, when I was in my uh, uh, mid twenties, I lived not in that building, but I lived in the building kind of right behind it, which is Li Liliuo Kalani Gardens, which was like, to me, like the best place in the world for a young 20 something to, to, to be hanging out in. But I had that same view right out my window. Right. So, so gang, if, if you could imagine, right, you know, being in your twenties and you, you kind of been in Hawaii now for maybe a year or two, I forget. Yeah. I was in like Hawaii for two years or something like that. And to wake up every morning and to look out that and see that incredible view of diamond head. I remember looking at some, um, rainbows over diamond head and thinking to myself, man, I am in heaven, but that is exactly for those reasons, Scott, that is a fantastic property. And I had a friend that, uh, I had a friend that lived in, in, in that property and just the views are stunning. It's the greenery, everything that you said is exactly right. Exactly. Yeah, right. You, you get and, no big buildings around you. So you get this open view that you, you wouldn't expect in the urban area, right? You, yeah, you're right on the edge. So you see, like you said, it's that, that green shot. You got the school in front of you. You've got, you know, you got all of Kapilani Park and then Diamond Head. And then you see a little bit of Waikiki to your right, a little bit of an ocean, a little sliver of an ocean view. Um, yeah, uh, yeah it, it was a great thing. The only thing I will have to say, the only thing that the, <laughs> uh, the, oh, the, <laughs> the, but the, the, the only, the only, but on that property. And this is the one thing that you never know until like you live there, right? Is the fire stations also kind of right, right down the street. So every yep. time the fire station gets called up and you, you know, you're hearing the fire station go off. So you, you hear a lot of that, but you, you kind of get used to it like, like anything else. So, you know, nothing's perfect, but that was the one thing that also sticks out in, in, 